Okay, welcome back Ponzi Coders. Now we're going to get to some fun stuff. First we're going to implement um, our get quote button. Before I do that, a little bit of, little bit of housekeeping here. You'll notice uh, these reference variables to the symbol out. Um, I didn't do that for button and I want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just like I did for text view, I'm going to create uh, the type is button. I'm going to go ahead and assign that to get quote. And then I can get rid of that here. And just as a bit of a, uh, of a review, um, you know, up here, these variables, these reference variables, all this is doing is saying that um, if I associate uh, an object with get quote that object is going to be of a type button and with our XML file we created uh, let's go over there real quick so we created uh, the button and these text views and what happens is when we get set content view when that gets called it inflates or instantiates whatever you want to call it that those um, you know based upon the information in the XML file they uh, actually become objects those UI components actually become objects and then what we're doing here is associating uh, the reference variable and tying that to uh, to that UI component um, you know what's in the parentheses here it's called typecasting because what's happening is we're calling a method find view by ID and it's doing a lookup actually in the r.java file you can find that file in the gen folder right there so let's just look uh, real quick um, let's go from the main Java file so we're gonna look for symbol out I'm going to go into the XML file and see where it's defined, symbol out, right here. And you can see that when we make that call, it's going to go look up in the R Java in this table. And it's going to find a uh, stock symbol output, which is an int, which is a number. And if we look in the Java code, find view by ID, it's actually going to return each one um, as a view but it we know it's a text view um, but the compiler doesn't know that and so we have to cast that as text view so that when we assign it to this reference variable symbol out the compiler doesn't give us an error and it says okay um, if you say so if you think that's a text view uh, we'll believe you and uh, it's referenced by the symbol out. All right, so now we've got the get quote button. And what happens when someone uh, clicks on that button? Well, in order to determine when someone clicks on that button, we've got to create a, a series of, of methods um, that all revolve around uh, the on click event. So let's go ahead and type get quote, which is our reference variable to the button and when I put a period there uh, I get all sorts of uh, of options we're gonna do set on click listener and then set on click listener requires uh, a parameter and what it's looking for is not a set on click listener but the actual on click listener and I can do that by saying new view on click listener when I press enter you see it says an anonymous enter type when I press enter it's gonna fill in uh, some code for me uh, namely the the actual on click event now there's a number of ways that you can implement listeners for buttons this is one of them um, and you know like uh, like y'all I'm I'm just learning uh, Android in the 
50 percent of the reason why i'm doing these videos is because i'm old and i forget stuff and so i'm trying to provide some documentation for myself to go back to in case i forget um you know after i've i've kind of learned how to do uh certain things so we'll probably go over some other ways kind of as i learn them um of how to uh, create an event listener or different ways to do it but in this case um, this is passing as a parameter I'm actually creating a new and it's not based on a class it's based on um, something called an interface but this method I'm able uh, to call it um, without creating a new class um, it kind of creates an anonymous class on the fly for me so I have access to the on click listener and then this method on click um, you know I'm overriding it I'm saying uh, when someone clicks and this is this to do auto generated stuff I always delete it don't need it um, but I'm overriding it and saying hey I want it to do some stuff that I want it to do um, okay and so what do we want it to do well we want to get uh, a stock symbol, we want to get a price, and we want to get the change in, uh, in that stock price. Which leads us to kind of a fun uh, topic, and that is web services. So let's go over to the blackboard here. And, you know, what am I talking about when I say a web, web service? Well, the way I understand it is that you can put on or put in a URL, also known as a URI, and this is going to go uh, out to a web server. So on my computer, let's just, and we'll do this in a second, just say I'm going to put a URL into a browser. It's going to go out to this uh, web server and based upon parameters that I put in uh, in the URI it's gonna return return um, some data of which we're gonna process now that data in this case this is coming from Yahoo it's actually Yahoo Finance um, and this is their application programming interface, their API. Lots of acronyms. So w this particular API is returning a CSV file, which is a comma delimited, delimited file. I have no idea what the SV, but I know it's a comma delimited file. It's going to be, uh, it's going to have quotes. So it'll say something like this, Google G-O-G. Um, it'll give us, I don't know if it actually has codes, quotes on the price but it will say 400 and something dollars and then we want the percent and that'll return you know uh, 1% or whether it's up uh, whether it's up or down all right so we're gonna get this uh, the CSV file back and then we're gonna process it and eventually uh, get it into our our app now uh, there's a web page that gives you um, all of the tags that will return um, all sorts of good information from this API but you can see here that you put in a URL to the right of this equal sign is where you put the symbol you can put multiple symbols but we're just gonna put one symbol and then you see this uh, and F equals to the right of that that's where you put in these tags so let's just do that real quick so if I put in uh, and I've already got this kind of filled in uh, Google is our symbol and F equals and this SL1P the S stands for the symbol the L1 is the last trade and we just want the price only and then uh, P2 is the change in percent. So if I do that, 